What's up guys? So, today I have a longly awaited video for you guys. If you didn't see my last vlog a couple days ago, I posted me going on a secret mission, which wasn't really a secret, but it was a mission to get a gaming console. And if you watch the video, you know I went to go out and get the Xbox One S. So there was a little dilemma in which one I should get, and I finally decided on the Xbox One S. If you want to see that full video, you can go click up there, there, whichever one. You can click up there and go watch the video. So without further ado, we're going to unbox the new Xbox One S, which isn't really new, but it's new for me. So let's get to unboxing. So I got my little t tiny pocket knife, and we're about to unbox this. Ow. Okay, that was uh, a little intense. Oh. I'm gonna cut myself one day, it's just, it's gonna happen. This one comes with Battlefield, I think I said it might well. This one comes with Battlefield, which I've never played Battlefield before, but I'm hoping it's good, it sounds cool. Um, and it was the cheapest one there, and I had a $50 gift card, so, you know, how it, how it all goes. I'm looking at part of it, not the whole thing, and it looks amazing. It really does look amazing. Looks like they gave you a little card. Don't know what this is for, but I'm so scared. Whoa. Oops. Goodness gracious. All right. Well, here it is. That's that. Oops. So it looks like this is the game that comes with it, Battlefield. It's a little card, and it has like a code on it. So I guess it's a download, which I actually prefer downloads over... Um, over CDs because if you lose the CD, you lose your game. We're gonna do everything but the Xbox for now. So, looks like we got a little power adapter. Now, I thought this came with one of those big battery bricks, but I guess it, it must be built into the machine because they couldn't get rid of that. Looks like we have a nice remote controller. I'm gonna save this too because I'm excited about that. Thank goodness it includes an HDMI cable. I was going to freak out. Thank goodness, because Apple never does. So, thank you for that. All right, I'm so excited, I'm nervous, oh my gosh. Ooh. Oh my goodness, it feels so nice. So it feels like there's a little grippiness on the back, I guess to help you. All right, so. We're gonna go ahead, oh goodness gracious. Shall we test the durability? I think so. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Oh my goodness. It looks so nice. It looks like on the back, we got our power adapter to plug in our power cable to power the thing. Then we got an HDMI out um, to TV there. And then an HDMI in, what is that? Oh, from cable, so I guess you can plug in like your cable box, whatever. Two USBs, IR out, which looks like a 3.5 millimeter jack. Audio out, which is like optical audio. Ethernet? maybe? Ethernet? I'm guessing Ethernet. I'm just gonna say Ethernet for now. USB on the front, too. I don't know what those USB ports are for, though. I, did I? This thing doesn't give you instructions. Oh. Well, maybe if I had a... I thought this was just like a card. It's the instructions. Okay, this thing just tells you how to set it up. Did this include batteries? I really hope it did. Yes! Really, Apple, I'm surprised Apple includes a lightning cable with their phones, honestly. I'm, really. You may have heard me talk about on my blog that the most recent gaming um, console that I've bought in was the Wii, and that was like 10 years ago, so I'm well overdue for an upgrade. So, I did bring my Wii with me. It's white, it looks nice. It works perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, it still works just like new. 
And um, as you can tell, we have quite a difference in size. So if we put them side by side, or in front of each other, you can obviously see the Xbox is a lot bigger. I want to say they're about the same width. Maybe you know. Yeah, the Xbox is a little bit thicker. And here's the remote comparison. It's obviously a big difference. So we're going to go set this up now. Mm -hmm.